let's focus on what's happening domestically in Saudi Arabia. What needs to happen this year in order to meet your financing and economic goals in the year ahead? I think we are quite comfortable. We are coming to this from a strength uh, uh, financially and economically. The last seven years have seen significant diversification efforts yielding results. Uh, our GDP has grown from 2.5 to now 4.15 trillion Saudi riyal, i.e. above the 1 trillion threshold US dollar. Uh, that is strong momentum. Uh, the diversification is also yielding, where you know, oil GDP used to be about 70% of our GDP. Now it is around 30, 35%. That is significant. And what's also good within the non-oil GDP, which is our focus, where we are really Vision 2030 is driving to, it is actually among multiple sectors. Tourism, technology, industry, logistics, and others are taking their fair share. And the new economy, which basically supports the quality of life, entertainment, sports, tourism is actually flourishing and creating a lot of jobs. You could see that in the unemployment numbers in the lowest historically, and the number of employees in the private sector is the highest also hysterically. What we see in Saudi Arabia is a really aggressive spending drive under the Vision 2030 platform in order to advance those diversification goals. But with that spending now comes significant budget deficits. How deep will you allow the Saudi budget deficit to go? Well, it depends. I mean, I would be worried about spending, you know, getting aggressive if it goes in the wrong direction. If you go into investments, if you go into capital programs, that will actually fuel growth, that is good spending, and I will not be worried about deficit. Obviously, deficit will need to be controlled. What we have done over the last seven years is we brought deficit from 15 to 12 to 9 to 4. It is around 2% now of the GDP. That is a level that is acceptable globally. And I think if that, as long as that deficit is going to fuel growth and capital programs and strategies, I think it's actually a good deficit. It's not a bad deficit. So what are your funding requirements? And specifically, will you tap the debt market this year in order to address that fiscal gap if necessary? I mean, the short answer is yes. We, I mean, we announced our, our uh, debt uh, strategy and um, the schedule for this year just to give the market predictability. Uh, and we'll continue. I mean, we are going to tap the market locally and internationally. We will be targeted. We are not in a position where we are desperate to borrow, but as long as the market situation is supporting that with reasonable yields, we will go into the market and we may borrow even more to manage our liabilities for future years.